As a Turk, uh, for me, uh, the most important event that will shape uh, our conversation this week, and I want to start with this, is the 31st of March 2019 uh, municipality elections in Turkey. Uh, at the moment, I am now uh, recording this uh, on Saturday, 30th of March 2019. Uh, usually, I do uh, all my recordings uh, on Saturdays. Uh, publish them on the YouTube and then from YouTube it's scheduled and it's published accordingly. Now, uh, why I want to start with the Turkish elections? Because uh, we believe that uh, uh, either uh, the, the existing ruling parties will win or uh, the oppositions will win. We believe that there will be a recovery program to be announced uh, shortly after the elections. <laughs> Now, uh, this will uh, uh, contain uh, the, the, the information such as uh, business tax cuts, uh, p uh, some uh, other uh, manufacturer of facilities, uh, energy, maybe the prices might, may, might be reduced or the taxes might be reduced, the pension funds, taxes might be reduced and other things might be reduced. Uh, these kind of things will uh, be introduced in order to enhance the turnover or the business uh, in, the, in the community. While we believe that the government is also going to incre uh, increase the taxes for the, uh, uh, I would say, the monetary expenses that uh, people has to do, and uh, that's why while uh, they are going to uh, introduce the taxes cut, tax cuts for elites and all the business uh, people in Turkey, they are going to increase the uh, taxes for the people which means that people are going to get more poorer and business elites is going to be richer. Either ruling parties will win or lose, uh, this is going to be the consequence of the coming uh, recovery program. Uh, after that, it depends on the, who wins in the elections, uh, either ruling party or the op opposition parties. Uh, the details of the, uh, this recovery program will be, uh, will be much more clear. If the ruling party will win, it will be much more a uh, strict one. If the uh, oppositions will win, it will be much more loosey uh, program because they need to make the people happy in order to regain their uh, confidence. Uh, do we uh, think that it, uh, the success of this recovery program will be high? No, definitely not. And the reason is that because uh, it's not the case of doing and preparing a recovery program, it's the case of implementing a recovery program in actual life. Uh, we have seen that uh, President Erdogan and his uh, uh, colleagues uh, are showing signs of uh, losing uh, discipline uh, in, when they are implementing strategies. Uh, not in the political side, but all, always in the economic side. And we have seen that they cannot keep the discipline within the economy and the economic program, which causes a lot of deterioration in the, in the financial status of the country, which is also causing great problems for economy. And we believe that it will also take place in the, during the new, uh, most likely uh, announced uh, recovery program in future. That's why it's doomed to be uh, a failure. And this will take place, in our opinion, before the end of 2020 or during 2021 and then uh, most likely IMF will be here and they will uh, implement the program with a discipline. Uh, we will see how this is going to affect but uh, this is our uh, belief that uh, uh, depending on the uh, recovery programs, uh, Turkey's future is much more uh, related with uh, uh, its uh, success and uh, the, the, the 2023, uh, I will say, elections also are related with uh, this program. Unless the program brings stability to the Turkish economy, uh, Erdogan's, uh, President Erdogan's uh, future it will be always in question mark after 2023. That's why uh, we believe that uh, they have to implement it now and be strict about this, unless they are. Uh, it means after 2022, we are going to see a lot of cash uh, and it means they are going to print a lot of money also. But while I'm saying printing money, our expectation is still they are going to print a lot of money because we cannot find debts from other countries in dollars or in euros. 
which means that uh, we, 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 we are doomed to print money you know, to uh, put cash and uh, support uh, projects uh, like infrastructure projects and that needs to be boosting the GDP. Uh, that's our expectation within 2019 from now on with the new recovery program uh, regardless who wins the, uh, the elections, the municipality elections in, uh, in Turkey. Uh, we are not going to now comment on the political side of it. Uh, it will be another, uh, I will say, uh, video recording, and we will hopefully do this in a, in a month time. Uh, but uh, as, a, as, a, as a just as an entrance or introduction, uh, we believe that uh, there will be a lot of changes in both parties or in both coalitions. Uh, we do not think that the as a starting from the coalition, we do not think that the, the coalition will be a stronghold. We think that they are going to dissolve in especially 2020. And when it comes to also the coalition within the Erdogan and the, the Nations Party, the uh, Bahçeli, we think that there will be also dissolves or dissolution over there too. And so we will see a new coalitions attempts and new strategies to be implemented but our uh, still uh, idea is that uh, in either uh, 22 or uh, at the time uh, it should be like 2023 uh, we believe that there will be a coalition in the in the government still we think it is going to happen uh, we will also talk about this in details later on. Uh, thank you for watching the uh, program and uh, I hope you like it. If you like it, please uh, press like. Uh, it will help us uh, to promote our channel uh, to other people too. And <coughs> excuse me. Thank you uh, for watch, uh, watching us again and uh, hope to see you in the next uh, video. Bye.